In this video we're going to show you how to back up your Synology NAS to an external USB hard drive. There are a few steps we need to cover so let's get started. First we need to make sure your Synology disk station can access the external drive. This external drive could be a dedicated powered unit or simply a USB to SATA connector and an external HDD or SSD drive connected. We'll link below to a few suggestions that provide good results. Plug in the external drive to an available USB socket and then head over to the web interface of your Synology NAS. Click on Control Panel and then External Devices. This will list the external devices you have plugged into your Synology NAS and the external drive should be one of them. If there is already a folder shown for Shared Folder then the drive is ready to use. If not, we need to format the drive so the Synology NAS can use it. To format the drive, which will destroy all the data on the drive, so big warning, ensure the correct USB disk is selected and click the Format button at the top. It will ask you to format the entire disk or selected partition. Select Entire Disk. For the file system, we recommend EXT4 if you are just going to use the drive for Synology NAS backups. If you plan to use this drive on other machines, then FAT32 is the best option as this can be read by Windows and Mac but has certain limitations on file names and maximum individual file sizes. You could also purchase the XFAT package as this is a better choice but does come at an additional cost. Once you're certain you want to format and lose any data on the disk, click the OK button at the bottom and confirm your choice again with the confirmation window. When formatting is complete we can now head over to the package center and install the Hyper Backup package. Once installed, open Hyper Backup and click the Create button at the lower left and select Data Backup Task from the menu that appears. First we select the destination of the backups and because we're backing up to an external USB drive we'll select Local Folder and USB and click the Next button. Use the default of Create Backup Task and for Shared Folder ensure the USB folder we created is selected which is probably named USB Share 1. For Directory leave this as the default and then click the Next button. Now we select the files and folders we wish to back up, so use the folder tree to select the files and folders. Click the next button when ready. You can also back up settings for the packages you have installed, so select the ones you wish to back up. Click next when ready. Now you'll see the backup settings screen, which are mostly self-explanatory for the sake of this guide, we'll keep everything as is, but rename the backup task to something meaningful. The rotation settings will appear giving us rotation options, with the default meaning override the oldest backups with the latest backups if you run out of space. We'll enable this and click the apply button once happy. The Synology NAS will now create the backup task and schedule in the dates and times to perform the backups and integrity checks if selected. It will also ask you if you'd like to run the backup now and we'll click yes to this as it's always best to test the backup first. The backup will now commence and this could take a while as it depends on the amount of data you're backing up the speed of your Synology NAS and the speed of the disks, etc. You can monitor the progress of the backup on the main screen and once done, check the logs to ensure everything has gone according to plan. You're now able to explore this backup using Backup Explorer, which you can access via File Station. And here you can navigate the timeline and select and restore individual files and folders. To restore a full backup, simply click the clock icon near the bottom and select Data. Confirm which backup you'd like to restore and progress through the screens and select the restore options that are best suited for your situation. We recommend you keep this backup somewhere safe, stick to your backup schedule and check the backups complete correctly each time. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe and check out our other videos on Synology NAS.